Hi everyone, I'm Andy. And I'm Helen, and you're watching Polar Bricks. Today we've got this huge box. And it's what's inside the box that we're going to show you. Um, it's a retired Lego set, one that because it's retired we shouldn't have been able to buy at retail, but we did. Um, it's been retired for about three years. Um, and uh, it popped up the other day on a Facebook group that I'm on that um, Zavi in the UK online retailer had got some for sale. Don't know where they got them from, um, but they obviously found some somewhere in the back of a warehouse or something. <laughs> and um, and I was doing a very good job of resisting buying it. Yeah, for about a week. <laughs> um, but then <laughs> up on, on YouTube up pops um, a video from Dr. McBrick um, and he's bought one and had it shipped all the way from the UK to America. And um, seeing him um, really excited to build it, I just decided I had to buy it and build it and show it to you. Um, if you haven't seen Dr. McBrick, by the way, um, he's in another YouTube channel. Go and check him out after watching this video. Um, his city updates um, from his city, uh, Lego City uh, Figsdale, they're uh, always worth watching, always good fun. So check that out after watching this video, like I say. All right, let's, let's get it open. Come on. Right, here we go. So this is uh, set 76052 and it's, uh, what's it called? It's called... Batman uh, Classic Batman TV Batman. series from the 1966 um, show. The original Batman with um, Adam West. This is a set I don't think I even knew existed until sometime in January when I saw someone selling just the Batmobile out of it, which um, you can see down the bottom there. So yeah, let's have a quick look around the box before we break the seals and start building. So um, we've got like the sort of original bat cave, all the computers and everything in there. Um, you get uh, the bat bike, the bat helicopter, and of course the classic Batmobile. Um, and then over there we've got, uh, there's a little sort of mock-up of the um, Wayne Manor sort of office where the bat phone is and the bat poles which go down into the cave there. Let's spin it around and have a look at the, the other side. So, um, yeah, and then behind that um, bit with the poles, you get something that's meant to look, I, don't, I think it's supposed to look like, um, in the TV series, they used to have these bits where they were climbing the side of a building. And uh, you, through the magic of uh, high uh, special effects of 1960s, <laughs> they were walking along a flat surface and turning the camera around. But I think that's what this is meant to be. Um, I suppose it could also be uh, part of Wayne Manor, but um, I think it's more likely that. Um, and yeah, you just get um, a helipad for your heli uh, bat copter. A lot of minifigs in this one as well, actually, if we can turn it that way. Who we got? So you've got um, know, Wayne and Dick and um, Alfred the butler. Yeah. Uh, obviously the original Batman. And Catwoman. Yeah. Penguin. Yeah. Robin. Yeah. Uh, is that Joker? Yeah, the original and, Joker. And uh, the Riddler. Yeah. And they're all really awesome minifigs, so we'll have a closer look at that once we've built it. So let's break the seals on this. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, <laughs> yeah. loose the box. I'll put the box down. No, it's in general. Right. Sort these into number order. Just here as well. What we got? We got uh, one through to eight bags. And there's base plates and then, there. And yeah, I've got together. base plates and supports. More base plates, more base plates and supports. Um, rock pieces. Uh, and and instructions. And instructions and lots of stickers. Oh no, not stickers. Yeah, uh, yeah. Be careful. Okay. There you go. Okay, we've got really big instruction book. Huge stickers. Yeah. Looks like we start off with the Batmobile. And then we build the bat poles. And the facade of the building. Pull that bit through there. Wow, this is gonna take a while. Um, then we've got the, the um, office bit with the bat phone. Um, 
Oh, they're good. Yeah, they're the wallpaper. Printed bricks. That's, that's, what's this piece of sheet look like? Oh, that's over there. That's huge. It's got two for the um, helicopter pad. Oh, no, they're going to be fun. Huge ones there. <laughs> and then there's all the little ones down All the little computer yeah. screens. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Right. So, I guess we start and um, probably go into a bit of time lapse in a few minutes. Because... Um, You'll be with us all night otherwise. <laughs> um, right, so where do we start? Bag one. We've got <clears throat> Batmobile and Batman and the Joker. <laughs> Just build the minifigs before we go yeah. into time lapse. What so, you um, Batman you do, or Joker? You, you do Batman, I'll do the Joker. Okay. Here he is. <laughs> Ooh. Lovely green hair. Oh, <laughs> minifigs are, are one of the things that really make this set pretty cool. Um, so here we go, I'll see if I can just quickly show you that. We'll have a look closer later on. But there's the Joker, his double printed head. So you've got the manic smile or the fairly classic ooh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, found the Batman. You done him, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right. So there, I've got Batman uh, with his uh, helmet on. But if you take his helmet off, he's got two faces as well. He's got a smirk and a very worried face there. Okay. He's got the little white band at the top, which corresponds to his eyes when he's helmet or hoodies on. There we go. Okay, right. Let's go start the time lapse. <laughs> <laughs> Bag one, and you dived in and built bag eight. Yeah. 
So that's a lot of the vehicles done. So let's really quickly show you that and uh, we'll have a proper look at it at the end. Uh, bag one is basically um, the Batmobile, which I've got there. The Batman in there as well, sitting and driving at the minute. Um, and we've got the Joker and Penguin uh, down here. Which, there and there. there um, and, and I did bag and eight. Uh, which was the end of <laughs> a little bit of um, one of the, the buildings, the back cave. Um, so those are ready to go on. Um, when we've done back when seven, I think. done back seven. <laughs> and then there's this pretty cool helicopter. I popped Robin in. There you go. You can, it's quite good. So that's a printed part on the front. Um, there we go. And there was also so the motorbike and sidecar back bike back bike <laughs> <laughs> i like this <laughs> there we go um all the science equipment that batman uses in the original series so uh, lots yeah. of chemicals and, and things like tape deck and things old and school computers, computers. yeah uh, sort of like computer and then more um experiments with a little table like the old-fashioned sort of table with little round legs mm. um, and uh, Okay. Yeah, make right. a fine glass on that one. There We've we go. got a lot to build, so we better yeah, get on with it. Back up. Yeah. seven <laughs> to go with bag eight that I did first obviously because yeah, it makes complete sense and then I went on to bag four because four five and six built the middle piece of the back cave so okay. it seemed like a, a good place so to carry on that's quite an interesting build we should have a closer look at that later on you've got the riddler as well now and the riddler's on there as well yeah Okay. And then while she's been busy doing that, I've built um, bag two, which is a, one probably one of the biggest bags. Bag. So we've got a uh, facade of the building, which runs up the back of what is the entrance to the back cave down the, the, the back poles. Um, and there's some cool functionality, which we'll look at later. Um, and then I've got Catwoman at the top there, just sitting there at the moment. You bat and skew. Oh, oh yeah. sorry, yeah, straighten my back up. <laughs> they all right, yes, yeah, so you've got bats, like everywhere, bats everywhere, as you should have in a good bat cave. Um, so I'm going to go on and carry on building with bag three, which is the office um, at the top, with the bat phone and everything. And I think you're going to go well, on to bag on five. I need some I of think, the rock yeah. work around yeah. the edge of this one, yeah? Yeah. Okay, we'll be uh, <laughs> back into the time lapse and then we'll be back with you soon.
we go, we finished building. Yep, all eight bags, and there's like 2,526 pieces. So, um, let's have a closer look. Here's our Batmobile. It's a fantastic build. Um, really interesting to techniques involved in building it. Um, I have great fun putting it together um, and I think it looks instantly recognisable as the original TV series Batmobile. All the way around you've got lovely Bat logo on the side, even the little Bat logo on the inside of the hubcaps. Um, you've got some lovely details in there, I don't know if it will pick up on the screen, but you've got the emergency bat turn um, lever in the middle, you've got the detector scope in the front, front passenger seat there, you've got the bat phone in the middle, um, it's got a couple of Lego stud shooters on the front, <laughs> um, and then you've got... Did you say when the bat... The bat turn was pulled, the uh, yeah, parachute came out the back. Yeah, so like the bat turn in the series, yeah, the series. it pulls that and the, <laughs> the bat, this bit would fly open, which it does, and then you get the, the parachute out the back and he'd literally just, you know, throw the turn car, throw, <laughs> throw, throw the car around in, in fantastic fashion. Um, and yeah, I think it's a perfect representation of the Batmobile. So uh, that's that one. Let's uh, drive it out of the shop. There you go. Right, there we go. I built the bat copter. And as you can see, it's got some great bat wings on there. Uh, you've got oops, more stickers on the back, obviously. And then this one wasn't a stickered piece. This is a printed piece. So you've got your Batman at the front, um, which lifts up to let your minifigure in. There we go, and then you've got obviously bombs or whatever they are mm. at the side. I'm not quite sure what they were. And they sort of like jet propelled at the back there. So it's the, really good though. It's really the fun. Back fun copter, build. Um, bit of background on the back copter is I think it was only ever in the original Batman movie, which was of the TV series. Um, and it's more, it's I think a uh, Hughes helicopter which is, uh, anyone who also knows older TV shows, um, is the helicopter you see in the intro for MASH. Um, so it's basically the same type of helicopter. I think it's actually quite a good representation of that in Lego form mm. as well. Mm. Now you've said that, yeah. I can see, I can see a MASH helicopter. Mm. Obviously a different colour. There we go, so that's the helicopter. Yeah. Um, very small one, but... Uh, Perfectly formed. So you've got the bat bike, it's got a little bat wing at the back. And so it's bat it's a bike and sidecar, obviously for Robin on the sidecar, which is brilliant. And it's quite quite iconic again, sort of very very ergonomic with the uh, shape and very of its time, if you like. Yeah. yeah, having a closer look at our minifigures, obviously we've got Batman and Robin, um, which are a really good representation. I really love the detailing on the Batman mask with the white lines over the, of the eyebrows and, and the detailing there. Um, he's got two faces, so you pull the mask off and um, the white band is just to show white eyes through the mask. Um, and you've got a sort of grimace. And then if I turn him round, You've got, uh, I don't know if you pick that up, but a more plain expression. Um, looking a bit angry still though on Batman. Uh, so put that back on. And then Robin, we've got the classic uh, red and green Robin outfit with the yellow cape. Um, and again, I think he's got to take his hair off there. You've got a sort of grimace and um, a sort of more in shock sort of face. Um, and then at the end we've got the classic Joker um, and I think the facial printing on this, well actually printing on 
on the sides of the legs and the suit, the pink suit. I mean, it's, yeah, it's the Joker. Um, and the, the facial expression as he's sort of mm. there. And if we take the hair off him, he's also got, he's also got his classic smiley Joker face. So that's those three. Yeah, so we've got Catwoman. Uh, she's got a double-sided head. So you take her hair off, which has got the ears attached. Um, and she's got a uh, printed one with a uh, with her head, with a mask, and then just a, a smiley face on the other side there. And she has a whip. So nothing about that. There we go. Then we've got the Riddler. Okay, with his um, dynamite, two lots of dynamite, and again he's, oops, he's got double printed head, one with a sort of smiley face and one with a uh, upset face, if you like, on the other side. There we go. I love the Riddler's uh, question mark on his torso. It's sort of like printed on both sides as well, and then at the end you've got. Uh, penguin who comes with little legs because obviously he wasn't very tall. I think that's why he has a tall hat. Um, I love his top hat, purple top hat, matches his bow, and then he obviously comes with uh, the umbrella. Um, if you put it on, not on a piece of um, Lego, you have to make sure that his 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 um, umbrella is back so he doesn't fall over. Okay, there we go. That's those three. Okay, and then we've got our um, dynamic duo in civilian form, if you like. <laughs> um, in that we've got Bruce and Dick, and obviously Alfred the butler. Um, so just quickly, I think they've all got, let's just check, yep, yeah, they've got double fa uh, printing on the heads as well. So you've got a fairly plain, smiley face on the two of them there. And we'll take both their hair off to quickly show you. Um, a confused and an anguished look. Um, on Wayne and Dick and then Alfred has got his sort of fairly plain not impressed expression and a slightly more smiley expression on on the back there so we just put their hair back on and so that's how you get the right hair on the right person oh, yes you're right that's <laughs> that one that's that one so there we go there's all of our nine minifigs together um, I think it's a really good set um, I think you could add, if you really, if they really wanted to, they could have added um, Commissioner Gordon and, and uh, Chief O'Hare and um, Batgirl, Batgirl maybe. would have been good. Because, I mean, you've only got Catwoman. Um, but nine mini figures in a set, still pretty good representation mm -hmm. of, of the series. It all comes together. Um, you've got, start off with the smaller bits. Um, You've got the uh, pieces here that make Batman's lab. Do you want to go through those? Yeah, so you've got um, a lie detector. Oops, <laughs> killing everything off. So you've got a lie detector, which sort of says true or false with the uh, green and the red bits at the top and mm. little dials. I really like that. You, I imagine that's really through. accurate to one that appeared um, in the series. You, you, yeah. You've got like tape machines because obviously anyone who's, who's not quite my age. Um, Maybe you won't remember computers when they were all run on tape and lots so, of flashing lights. So ends, but... Like the reactor here, that you've got eight big sort of computer um, terminal at each side. That would probably be the size of your phone now, anyway. Yeah, so. pretty much. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this main section um, breaks into three really, really easily. Just slides together basically. Um, you've got. This massive um, tower, which is, um, let's turn it around to look at the back first. So on the back, you've got um, this facade of a building. Um, I don't think it's meant to be Wayne Manor as such. I think it's just, um, there's lots of times in the original series where um, Batman and Robin are using their grapple, which we've also got, um, to climb up the outside of a building to spring through the window to surprise one of the baddies. Um, and uh, if you know your camera tricks, that was where mm -hmm. they were actually walking on the flat, pulling, but the camera was on its side. So that, that's a classic sort of part of the original series. If 
you, if you've ever watched them. Um, so that's sort of hidden by being behind this part of the bat cave. Um, so at the top, you've got the, the office that um, was often featured um, in the series. So this is where you've got the bat phone, um, the, the sort of Shakespearean bust, which um, in the series, the head hinges back to reveal the button that you press it there, which then means the fake bookshop, uh, bookshelf um, slides out of the way to reveal um, the bat poles. Um, in this set, these poles are this, this height and don't go anywhere. However, um, below, you've got ones that, that go from the top level to the bottom. And these, um, you will have seen earlier in the video where we had them working. I've got a little platform just in here that um, you can rig Batman and Robin onto so that when they, um, Wayne and Dick go down the slides at the top, you move those and they arrive at the bottom as Batman and Robin, just like in the original TV series. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so that's that's how that bit works. Okay, and moving then, on to the bits that you yeah, put together. So then <laughs> I put together the helipad, which is um, just a uh, you can say helipad on the top. The stickers are ginormous on this, and very difficult to get on straight without um, bobbling it up and everything. I don't mm. think I did a too bad a job. They look pretty good to me. There we go. And um, mm. the rocks on the sides, they're pretty cool. Not symmetrical at all. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I love the little, and then they've got the bats, obviously, on yeah, I've got all around. Yeah, bats all over this bit as well, yeah. hanging around in the cave. And then you've got the nuclear reactor, which is the centre bit. Uh, you've got a very sort of uh, cylindrical part in the middle, which is really interesting to put together with all these computers. Tape reels, and the tape reels, displays, dials, all everything. sorts of things. Everything. This is keep mm. off atomic pile on there. Mm. I love the sand green barriers. They're really nice. And if you go and look at the um, original series, this actually does feature in the background in nearly all of the uh, it's uh, very close. Episodes. It really is the, quite close. Yeah, it's a really good Lego representation mm. of it. Um, we're even we even down to the little um, shelves. If you look in the background of, of a lot the, of the um, shots, yeah, shots, they look exactly like that, and the little table with the round legs. So. Yeah, so it all slides back together. In terms of making a Lego version of the nineteen sixty six Batman TV series, um, this is about as perfect oh, as you brilliant. could get. Yeah. I think. Um, so, where are we going to put it? Um, <laughs> well, I think that this is ripe for a little bit of adjustment and um, recreation. So uh, eventually, um, hopefully you'll see us growing this on the channel, but we're, we're planning on having a dedicated space that will turn into like a Lego city, um, a mixture of um, vintage sets and, and new sets and our own creations and things. Um, so what I think we'll probably end up doing is we'll remake this to go the back cave underneath part of the city um, and then maybe a small representation of Wayne Manor above um, so that we can have Batman and Robin underneath the, the, our Lego city Try and, go um, behind. <laughs> and then we can probably have the Joker and the Penguin and, and so on up some mischief the other yeah, end of the city, city. <laughs> um, I think that would probably be really good um, I think this is a great set for a Lego collector I think it's great thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed watching us build and review this set. It's a really awesome set. I'm really glad that I was convinced to buy it by watching uh, Dr. McBrick. Make sure you go and check his channel out now you finish watching this. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, we've got quite a lot to be showing you. Um, please do subscribe um, and we'll be build, starting our Lego City sometime later in the year when yeah. we've got some space to do it. So you'll see that. Ring the bell for a notification of when we upload. Um, please do hit like on the video because it helps YouTube um, show it to other people. Um, give us a comment, let us know what you think of this set, if you've got it, if you want to get it. Um, hopefully you'll be able to find it if you do. Um, and until then, um, goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>